guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Dean, and today I wanted to talk to you about the the Drifting Classroom, a manga I just finished reading last night. I started reading it about two weeks ago. They're fairly thick volumes, and there's three of them in the series. We've got the volume number one, number two, and number three. So as you can see, really, really big, thick, and heavy books with um some amazing paper quality inside these are omnibuses of a, a pretty popular manga that was released back in the 70s it was serialized i'm gonna check my notes it was serialized in weekly shonen sunday from 72 to 1974 so um i didn't know about this manga i was just kind of like shopping online one day and, and i saw these amazing looking covers and i was like Okay, I'm on a bit of a manga shopping binge. Let's let's pick it up. So, I ordered them and they were sitting on my shelf to be read for for a while, and I decided to crack them open and read them. So, first impression was when I opened the book was okay. The art style is a little bit rudimentary. I try and find you something here. It is definitely older. It's an older looking manga. So as you can see, the the the, the art might not be as polished and as stylized as a lot of manga is today and it took a little bit of me getting used to but once you become engaged with the story and the characters and after a while you kind of just get used to the to the artwork and i'm not disparaging it i'm not saying it's bad i'm just saying it's not as polished as today's style which i've been used to but there is some gorgeous artwork in there some very disturbing imagery as well but the detail and the finesse in in the drawings is um yeah, very cool. I don't want to show any spoilers to you either. I'm going to keep it, um, what can I say? What can I show you? Yeah, so we have these, um, chapter breaks here. So I think these pages here were actually the covers of the manga that was released weekly or, or monthly back in the day. But you can see, yeah, it's um, still beautifully done. So basically the story is about a school that vanishes from Japan one day. One of the townships just disappears as a big crater in the ground from where it was and the classroom is transported somewhere else and then it's just a, a matter of survival for the kids in this new location so apart from that like I didn't know going in what the story was going to be about I knew it was about these school kids being transported out of their school and going somewhere else that's all I knew going in but where they go I'm not going to spoil it because um I was quite surprised to learn and it's really fun learning with the characters as well when they kind of discover what's happened to them, where they are, and all their efforts in trying to get back home again. So it's, um, yeah, quite perilous. Pretty scary. Like, there's some disturbing images in there, like I said. There's um, some perils and things the kids need to deal with. But as in these kind of stories, you often find that the dangers are not necessarily outside the school walls. And that's all I'm going to cover about that as well. So the artist is Kazuo Umez, and I've still got the artwork up behind me there. He um he won awards for this, and I can see why, because the storytelling captivated me from page one to the last page in the third book. You get so engrossed with the, the story, and the characters are so endearing, like all these young school kids trying to work together, live together, and face overwhelming obstacles and ad adversity. I become so infatuated with their stories, their relationships, their burdens, their perils, everything. And we also have some um, some scenes back home with their parents as well. So we do have that kind of grounded reality of the story. Like we have them pining for home and the parents wondering where their kids are. So the story definitely is full of emotion. So yeah, do I recommend you read the Drifting Classroom, man, yeah, I, I thoroughly in, enjoyed it. I picked it up on Amazon Australia. I don't know how how easy it is to get these books now. I got these last year, and like I said, they were just sitting on my to-be-read pile for, for months and months. So um, I appreciate being in COVID and lockdown. It's a little bit harder to get things delivered to you, but I did get mine on Amazon. So um, if you want to go on there and try and find it, good luck. I hope it's out there for you still. I haven't checked in a while. But yeah, as you can see, like, I'm going to show you properly, like, the covers are just beautiful. They're just, um, they actually, I think they're, um, just colorized panels from, from inside the book itself. In his book number, in his book number three. I love how, the, um, the title drifts down from, from each cover. So three of those, man, and, um, yeah, I highly recommend 
the drifting classroom, the heavy books. And like I said, like the paperwork, like the paper is um a really high quality grade paper. Like the the contrast between the dark ink and the white pages it is quite striking. It's beautifully presented. The binding's good. They feel that feel really professionally made. They're heavy, so when you're laying in bed reading them, they're they're kind of <laughs> hard to hold up if you're a weakling like me. But um yeah, thoroughly engaged from Viz Media. So they were just really released um, a little while ago, but yeah, first published back in the 70s. So if you want some classic manga, definitely check it out. I, I had a lot of fun with this. The story was so good. The characters were so engaging. I just, I'm, I was sad when it ended for for a multitude of reasons. I was very sad, but yeah, no spoilers. Anyway, I'm done. Let me know what you're reading down below in the comments. I'm very curious about what you guys are reading these days sorry it's been a hot minute since i've talked manga i'm just you know i'm too busy reading it right now than than talking about it but by i am gonna try and get more reviews up i hope i'm a slow reader i'm, I'm currently reading chainsaw man which is um a fun read anyway i'm done leave your comments down below don't forget to check out all my discord links tiktok instagram twitter patreon all down below anyway so don't forget to subscribe hit that bell for those notifications and leave a like it really helps the channel grow i'm trying to reach 100k this year i can do this all right i'm done catch you next time thanks for watching